this is an AccuQuilt cube. It's a die cutting system for use with AccuQuilt fabric cutters and it's useful if, like me, you get aches and pains when you use a rotary cutter. Inside this box are eight different dies. You can see them here. We've got large squares, small squares, half square triangles, quarter square triangles, um, square on point, parallelogram, rectangle and small half square triangles. Okay, every AccuQuilt box has those eight dies, but they come in different sizes. This happens to be the six inch block, which means if I took the largest square and arranged it in a two by two grid, the finished size of the block would be six inches. They also come in four, five, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Now, one of the things you might be thinking is okay, that helps you make um, cuts quicker and faster so you can cut out quilts quicker and produce more but each die only cuts out a single shape isn't that more limited well yes and no because all these are the basic shapes they can be rearranged in a number of ways AccuQuilt themselves give you 72 block designs for free that you can download to show you how to use their things all of these can be made with just this box and I think that is actually the tip of the iceberg because having sat down and done some research with a block um, encyclopedia by Barbara Brackman um, actually 90% of the blocks in that book can actually be made with the AccuQuilt block the only uh, things that can't be are ones with curved patterns so I reckon that I could make one block per week, every week, for the next 10 to 12 years and still not have any duplicates. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you how to make a block using the AccuQuilt cube system. <clears throat> okay, so this is today's block. It's a really, really simple one based on the nine patch and it's called the Chew Fly. It's an old colonial block, so you can actually find uh, antique ones that, ha that have this in. But, uh, they're two colours or three colours. There are other colour variations. Um, they can also be based on an uneven nine patch, but this, as you can see, is an even nine patch. It's on a grid. Um, and it's been published and republished by people like Ruben McKim, Nancy Cabot, um, for over about 200 years by now. OK, so that's what we're going to do, as I say, based on a nine patch. So it will be bigger if you're using AccuQuilt. If you're, I'm going to be using the six inch block cube, but my finished block will not be six inches. It will be nine inches finished. That is something that you need to bear in mind. So how do you make this? Well, as I said, it's based on a nine patch. So if I just bring in my little thing there, uh, there I've got nine squares that are arranged in a three by three grid and you can see I've alternated dark light dark light to give a classic checkerboard nine patch all we do in order to get the shoe fly is we replace the four corner ones with half square triangles instead of squares easy peasy lemon squeezy okay that's the two color version you can do a three color version by having an accent color in the middle so for instance, if you were doing one that was really, really big, um, you could have something like a real focal fabric in the middle for a big wow factor. And that would look quite stunning. You can also turn it on point like so. So that if I had four half square triangles that I added around the outside, it would make a cross rather than the classic nine patch. So, why have I chosen this one? Well, it's simple. If you look at your cube, you will see that you've got, out of your eight dies, you have two sizes of squares and two sizes of half square triangles. So, that means that we can make a big shoe fly using our number one die and as a square and our number three die as a half square triangle or we can make 
one that's half that size by using the number two square and the number na, 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 five half square triangle. Okay, the difference, the difference between the two is this will cut one square, this will cut two half square triangles, this will cut four squares and this will cut four half square triangles. This is with the six inch cube, the other ones may be similar. Okay, but it's always either one and three or two and five. Now the one we're going to use today is one and three. We're going to do the biggest square that we can. And that will avoid me having extra pieces because this will cut four pieces. There's actually two blades in the middle. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have any extras left over today because I'm using up some of my scraps. So we are going to use our number one die and our number three die. If I go back to this one, you can see that what I need to do is from this square, I'm going to cut one, two, three, four of the background colour and one of the accent. And from this, I need four half square triangles in the accent colour and four in the background. So for this one, I'm going to have one layer of the accent, four layers of the background. For this one, because it cuts two at a time, I'm going to do two layers of background and two layers of accent.
So there's our final block, all cut by Aki Quilt. As you can see, when I sewed the last two rows together, I gently pushed the seam allowances away from the half square triangle blocks so that you can see I've spread out where the bulk is and we get a nice flat block as a result. So there we are. If you want to know the sizes based on the cube that you have, um, it's going to be one and a half times the size on the box. So for example, I used a six inch cube set to make this block. It's going to be a nine inch block by the time it's finished. Um, if you don't want to do the maths, there is a link in the description down below to a PDF, um, which has all the sizes for you as well as a blog post. So there we go. Block number one down. Join me next time for another one. Bye bye.